Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and in my last video I installed macOS Monterey on my MacBook Pro. This is a mid 2015 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro, just the standard model with the 2.2 GHz Core i7, 16 GB of RAM and the integrated Iris Pro graphics and I thought today we would see how much if any my computer has slowed down after upgrading to Monterey. Now this won't be a comparison between Big Sur and Monterey because I never did install Big Sur. I went straight from Catalina. So today we will be seeing the difference between 10.15 Catalina and macOS 12.01 which is the current version of Monterey which is out. So without messing around let's get started. The first test I thought we would do is a boot speed test. Now I have already run all of these tests within Catalina and I am now ready to do them inside Monterey and the boot test is the first thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to use the timer on my phone. It's accurate enough and I did it like this in Catalina. So doing it again like this in Monterey should give us somewhat accurate results. So I'll press the start button on my timer as soon as I press the power button on the computer and as soon as the logging screen comes up that's when I will stop and that will be the time. So I am going to do three runs of each test and then we will get an average at the end. I'll just film one run and then we will move on to the next thing. So in three, two, one. All right, so that was about 25 seconds. I'll run it two more times and I will come back with the average. Okay, I've now back and I do have the results. But before that, I just want to talk about a little bit of weirdness I've been having in the one day I've been using Monterey. As you can see, that background is now different to that one. Before I turned the machine off, they were both the same, but now I've turned it back on. That has gone back to the default and this is still on the one that I set it as. And also sometimes the cursor just freezes. I don't know if it's because it's trying to catch up with what I'm asking it to do, but sometimes after like pressing one of the context menus, it just decides that it wants to freeze. It's only for about a second or so, but still, it's quite annoying. But anyway, let's just take a look at the results of the boot test. Okay, so when I did these tests within Catalina, the first boot speed I got was 23.02. The second was 23.08 and the third was 23.08. So we got two results that were the same and then the average came out as 23.06. If we compare that to what I've just got now within Monterey, the first speed I got was 25.22. The next one was 24.18 and the next was 27.14. So there is quite a lot of difference between those results and the average came out at 25 point five one so that is about a one and a half second difference to be honest i don't think that is too bad considering i'm now two operating systems newer i don't think that's too bad at all and you've got to consider that this machine is six years old so yeah i'm not actually too bothered about that it's hardly noticeable unless you were really looking for it so let's move on to the next test the next test is going to be to see how long it takes to open Firefox. This is something I've got to do every day, so it would be nice to know that it's not gonna take something crazy like five seconds longer each time because that would kind of be annoying. So I will just launch my timer again and then we can just go ahead and click. There we go. That opened in about one second, point fifty nine. I will now repeat that and then come back. Okay, I have now repeated that and got the average. So within Catalina, the first attempt was 1.12 seconds, the second was 1.27 seconds, and the third was 1.45 seconds. Now that averages out to 1.28 seconds, and the average now in Monterey is 1.64 seconds. So the first attempt was 1.59, the second was 1.85, and the third was 1.48. So yet again, compared to Catalina, it is slower, but how much slower? It's not going to be noticeable. It's not even a full second. It's about half a second difference. That's really not something you are 
going to notice. But I think the next test may actually be noticeable. We are going to do a final cut export test. So I've got a 4K file up here. It's actually a video which I've already made. I've got the Final Cut project and we are just going to export this. It's already rendered and all that. All it needs to do is export. I did it within Catalina and now let's do it with Inside Monterey. Okay, so here we are within Final Cut Pro. Let's open up the project. Here it is. Let's just take a look at the timeline. Here it is. It's all 4K 25 frames per second MP4 files. Here it all is. There's also some 4K screen recording in there. There's a few transitions in it. As you can see, that's a blur transition. Um, there's also a little bit of text which goes over it as well. This is a 6 minute 22 file and let's see how long this will take to export. We will export it as Apple Devices 4K. That's what I usually do and that's what I did in Catalina. So it would only be fair if we did the same thing here. So let's go on to next. Choose where to save it. Yep, on the desktop will be fine. And as soon as I click save, I will press go on my stopwatch. So three, two, one, go. So I've already got a file called that. So let's just... For the sake of things, add a 2 on the end. That should not make it any slower. But now let's go 3, 2, 1, go. And let's just see how long this takes. I'm not going to do a time lapse because it will probably take about 10 minutes or so. So once it's done, I will be back. Okay, so it has now done. And here is the file it created. Let's just make sure that it plays. Yep. It is indeed playing, so that has been a successful export. Now, of course, you're probably wondering how long that took. And first off, let me tell you how long that took within 10.15 Catalina. That same file stored in exactly the same place on the SSD using the same version of Final Cut took 10 minutes and 48 seconds. And within Monterey, it took 10 minutes and 15 seconds so it was actually quicker somehow it managed to be quicker but of course that can sometimes happen it doesn't always take the same amount of time so i'm going to consider it to be about the same time they both managed to export in the same time and i've actually edited a video in monterey and it seemed to edit just fine the exporting of course as we just discovered, seems to take about the same time and actually doing the editing seems to take about the same time as well. So it did seem to run quite smoothly. So that is that. That is all the tests that I had planned for this video. And I think the conclusion is that it is maybe slightly slower, but is it noticeable? No, not really. Apart from the weird things like the wallpaper changing, it doesn't really seem noticeable, but of course, Monterey is still in its early days, so it's quite possible that this is just a bug which will get fixed in time. So that is it. I don't really think I'm going to go back to Catalina. I did do a backup before upgrading just in case I didn't like it and it was too slow, but I think I'll be sticking with this. I don't really see a reason to go back to Catalina. This has got more features, it's more up to date, and from what I've been able to see, it doesn't slow my machine down in any recognisable way. But that will now be the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this was interesting in some way. Maybe this convinced you that you can indeed update without worrying about it slowing down too much. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one which should be successfully edited on this computer without any slowdown. So thank you again and goodbye.